Now, if you saw my last video, you would have seen that I did use Electro Fire Wizards with the Hog Gliders getting some absolutely insane swag, but this video we're going to be only using the Electro Fire Wizards and some Giants, so let's go ahead and see how it goes. We're into our first attack here against Tahoe, we might as well go ahead and change our army real quick to some Wizards, and I think three and Giants should do it, maybe I'll do four. Uh... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go with four Electro Fire Wizards. Look at the Clock Tower, look at the Elixir Storage, and look at this Gold Storage. I can put Electro Fire Wizards and a Laboratory? Okay, wait, there is so much value I can get here. I can put them on each of these high HP buildings, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably start my Battle Copter around here somewhere. Let me go see where it would be best. I think, yeah, by the Builder Hall. Then we're gonna go put in everything. Here comes the Giant with the Electro Fire Wizards onto the Clock Tower. He got hit by a Giant Kid. Okay, it's unfortunate. Let's make sure we're using all their abilities just in time. We got them around the base, and look at them. They're ripping through this base now, getting down all these huge defenses. Now, this giant is about to die. I'll put down another one real quick. Hopefully, it tanks for everything perfect, and look at how much of the base we've already taken down. We still have four Electro Fire Wizards moving through here. We're going to get down the double cannon, and these chains are just ripping through the entire base, and we are going to actually even save the giant's ability. We have only three Electro Fire Wizards remaining, but... We only lost two troops here. That was an absolutely insane first stage. Now we're to the second stage here. I think I'm gonna just go with the same army I have already. We're gonna bring a bomber trying to open up this whole section of walls. If I place it right, I think it will. And I guess we might as well place an Electro Fire Wizard first to make sure we're getting down the trash and let's see if we can do this. Not really the way I wanted it, but I think I can move it now. Perfect, look at this bomber bounce opening up all these walls. Now we're gonna send in our giants and our Electrofire wizards. wizards. We find a Tesla. That's a bit unfortunate, but we should be fine. And when do we wanna use the abilities? I think maybe now, yep, right there. And then for the other one, I'll probably, oh, there's a Tesla. Can we get it down in time? Come on, come on, come on, get up there real fast. We're onto the Tesla and we barely take it down. Perfect, let's go ahead and use the ability now. We're ripping through the space. We only have one giant remaining, but we do still have the battle machine with its full ability, both the Electro Fire Wizards, and guys, this is gonna be so easy. I mean, they just rip through the first part of the space. Now, it wasn't exactly the cleanest attack, but I mean, for my first attack of the video, I can't be too upset about it. Let's go ahead, get down this corner hut. We are gonna have our first six star of the video. We're into our next attack here against Abu Khanan, and this is a weird looking base, guys. Look at this. And this is a weird looking base, guys. Look at this. He does have a multi-mortar upgrading, but I don't think that's going to hurt us too much. And we can get onto the clock tower, the gold storage, the laboratory. There's a lot of good places to start here. And I think I'm just going to put a giant in to tank for the roaster and everything all the way up here. And send in an electro fire wizard. Let's go ahead and switch to another giant because we're probably going to need it. Battlecopter onto this lowered archer tower. He can take down the crusher. And I'm going to go ahead and start everything in on the lab, the clock tower now, just as the good giant cannon gets tanked. Let's go ahead and start in the giant here, put in the electro fire wizard behind it. And these chains are doing quite well. We are onto the roaster. Let's go use the electro fire wizard ability now. And that should get some pretty good value. We still have a giant to deploy. And he's, he's just getting stuck on the storages. I should probably move it off the ability. I don't know which will be faster. There we go, gonna go ahead and do it now. Getting down the guard post units. Can we get down this archer in time? We do, just barely. Let's make sure we're using this ability onto the builder hall. That should chain through the rest of the base, putting down a giant to make sure we aren't gonna lose any more electro fire wizards. And wow, these chains are absolutely insane. We're already onto the second stage and this only took 37 seconds. So it's this is a very fast attack. We're onto the next stage. He does have a ground expo, but I'm gonna switch to some hog lighters. And I think I can stun up any defenses. And let's go ahead and just break our giants in here. It'll tank for everything. We can put a Electro Fire Wizard behind it. We only lost one troop in that entire first attack going in now. Here comes the bomber opening everything. Perfect. Now we put down the Electro Fire Wizard into the ability. He should chain everywhere. Let's get another one, hopefully, onto the Elixir Storage. Make sure we have a giant tanking for everything. That should get a lot of value. We have another one left. I do not know where I want to put it. And guys, look at how easily we're taking down the space. These chains are insane. They're going all the way throughout everything, taking down all these big defenses, and this is going to be so easy. I mean, we have three Electro Fire Wizards remaining, one I haven't even deployed, going to put him down now, and oh, <laughs> oh wait, I forgot there were Teslas, okay, wait a second, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Luckily, we are going to keep two Electro Fire Wizards, we still have the bomber, these hog gliders are going to tank for everything, and it, we didn't 
keep all the Electro Fire Wizards that I wanted to, but it doesn't even matter. Gonna switch them to the Inferno mode now to make sure we're getting down everything quickly. Gonna use this ability, and that is another easy six star. Went to our next base here against Scythe Ula, and I think. Okay, wait, I see a lot of good value. I'm gonna switch to Hog Gliders to, to make sure that if we need tanking, we have it. But I mean, look at the space here. We can chain onto the gold storage. We can chain onto the builder hall. We can chain onto the double cannon. We can chain onto a lot. There is a crusher upgrading, but that wouldn't have even mattered if it would still be there because I am not planning to go in from there. So I'm actually gonna change to a fourth electro wizard. And I think we can take this base down quite easily. So I think battle copter onto the roaster compartment would be best. We're gonna go ahead, start in the giants, get down all these electro fire wizards, make sure we're getting them in the best, most optimal places. This giant is doing so much work for us, turning on all the abilities now. Let's go see if these work the way I think they will. And oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> they're getting down everything. Okay, Whoa. everything just got taken out. Let's go put a giant down a tank for everything. And guys, this whole base is gone. It's only been 20 seconds since we started. And we are already pretty much through the entire base. Let's make sure we're getting down this archer tower. Hopefully it doesn't take down a wizard. I don't think it will. The roaster is tanked for, and this base just got absolutely crushed. We have all of our troops except for one left alive. The battlecopter is still nearly max health. That was a really, really clean first stage. Let's get on to the second. We're into the second stage here, and he has a ground expo. That's gonna be kind of painful, but we have so much still alive. I don't think it'll matter. So let's make sure we're gonna go ahead and get in here pretty easily. I think hog lighters aren't gonna be what I need. I'm gonna switch to a bomber to make sure we're breaking in. Let's go switch to the battle machine and I think I can take out this base easily. I mean, there aren't that many defenses. Let's go, let's first put down the giant with the lowest health and then we'll put down the bomber behind it. That should break us in. Now we put down the big giant and let's go put all the wizards behind everything. Make sure they're gonna get some good value. We have one left in the pocket. The giant cannon does hit one, but let's go put them all into the electro mode and they should chain really well, putting one on the gold storage too to make sure we're getting extra chains. And guys, look at this. This base is nearly completely taken out already. And oh, I forgot about the Teslas again. I don't think that'll be an issue. Look how much we still have left alive. And okay, wait, now we're finding some Teslas, but guys, it's not even gonna matter. We are gonna unfortunately lose one Electro Fire Wizard, but I think we're gonna keep alive the other three. We still have the bomber. We still have the battle machine, and this is yet another crushed six star. We're up against Diego82. This is a kind of a wonky base for Electro Fire Wizards. I do not see any good value from them. So what I might do, honestly, is just break them into the base with a bomber. I, th I think if we put a bomber onto the laboratory, we can break into the base quite easily. I was thinking maybe hog lighters, but I don't think that's going to be best. So let's go ahead and switch off of them. We start the battle copter in the very corner to get down all those big defenses. And now we put down the giant. The bomber doesn't really go the direction I wanted it to, but I guess it's fine. Put in all the electro fire wizards. When do we want to use their ability? I think number one I should use right now. Number two and three. Perfect. I think that's going to get us some pretty good value. And okay, that's great. Look at these Electro Fire Wizards going to take out the Roaster, taking out the Mega Tesla, about to take out the Lava Launcher, switching them to the Inferno Mode. And unfortunately, one of them is actually getting targeted. That's not really what I wanted to see. Let's go ahead and put number three back into the Electro Mode. And that should be good. Oh, another one got targeted by an Archer Tower. Okay. This is not the swag we were looking for. We could have had two left alive if those two did not just get hit by random defenses, but it's gonna be fine. We are gonna lose our giant ability, okay. This is not the best first stage attack, so hopefully we just bring it back in the second stage. I think I still got this. Let's go ahead and get to the second stage. And so we're gonna start one in the very corner, and we do have two giants one electro fire wizard and i'm gonna see if i can tank for it with okay nope i was gonna tank for the mortar with the giant but i put it down too late that's a mistake on my part now we're breaking in through the top let's go ahead and put down our battle machine and i think that'll be the best place for it and when do i want to use the ability i think right now would probably be best we did take down the mortar compartment we just took down the guard post unit let's go ahead and make sure we aren't switching that wizard at the very bottom yet so he doesn't go into the double cannon the giant ability is used. We're going to take down the other double cannon. And guys, I think even with such a terrible first stage at getting some really bad luck, we should still be able to take this one out. Hopefully, the, yep, the double cannon is being tanked for. We have two wizards left alive, and we should be able to easily walk through the space now. Look at these chains going through the base, about to take down the double cannon. We're going to switch it to the inferno mode. We do not really need the chains anymore. That was a pretty, pretty easy second stage, I'll be honest. The first stage would have been really, really good if I did not lose two random wizards to some buildings, but what can I say?
into another attack here against Mr. Tactical. And look at this base. Look at these storages up there. I can get so much value if I get some wizards onto that. And then the builder hall all the way at the very bottom. If I put a wizard there, that'll get even more value. I think we're going to go ahead and switch to four wizards. That way we can put them in every place I want to. And let's go ahead and see if this will work. And I think Battlecopter for the roaster is best. Now starting our giant. And okay, we find a Tesla. No worry. Let's start in three wizards at the top. And they should go ahead and get some really, really crazy chains to start the last wizard. And all their abilities right now are, would be best. Perfect. And let's see if they do it. I think they will. And oh my goodness, guys. Look at these chains. Look at them chaining all the way through the double cannons. They're going onto the roaster. Hopefully they can get it down before it takes it. Come on. Perfect. We get down the roaster. We get down the double cannon. Now we're onto the Mega Tesla. Can we get everything down before they take down more wizards? Yes, we can. There's some absolutely insane chains from these Electro Wizards. Do we lose this one at the very bottom? I think we might lose it. Can we get it? Well, I don't know if we do. Do we? Last second. Okay. It's all right. We do still have three Electro Fire Wizards still alive. We have the Battlecopter. We have a giant barely surviving. And we are good for the next stage. And look at this next stage here. He has a ground expo, the multi-mortar, the lava launcher. I'm going to switch to, I think, maybe another bomber. I think if I break everything in, we can get this base down. I do not know how easy this will be. The first stage was pretty, pretty easy. But this second stage is going to be quite a force to be reckoned with. So let's make sure we switch our... Let's make sure we switch to the battle machine. That would be a pretty big mistake if I didn't. And I think we start him in the very bottom. And then we're going to go in with a giant at the top. Let's make sure we're getting everything tanked for. And let's go put the wizard onto the cannon. One onto the storage and one onto the last storage. All of them into the electro mode. And look at these chains kind of ripping through the base. But oh my goodness guys. Our giant just got killed immediately. Already forced to the ability. We want to get down this lava launcher pretty quickly. We do still have the bomber moving. And we are getting some pretty juicy chains, but I do not know if it'll matter. Maybe we can switch them quite quick enough. No, we are losing another wizard. We do still have one left alive. He's going to get attacked by the zappies. Let's go see if we can take out the zappies with the electro ability. Nope, I think we're just going to switch right now. We're going to lose the bomber as well. That is really unfortunate. Do we lose this last wizard too? He's on one HP. I think we're going to keep him alive. That was a really, really sloppy second stage. I'll be honest, but... We are still going to get the 6-star against him. It was still a pretty, pretty cool base, and we do get the 6-star, showing how powerful the Electro Fire Wizards can be, even in a tough situation. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I didn't have the best attacks, but I'm still learning how to use these wizards. Even still, we got some pretty crazy six stars. Now, I have some pretty big news. I did actually get partnered with Supercell after reaching 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I want to thank you guys so much. But I do not have a creator code yet, and if you want to help me out with that, I have to please ask you to subscribe, like the video, get me in the algorithm. And in addition, if you want some free gold passes, if you want to join some tournaments, get some base building advice, some, some advice with attacking, I have to highly suggest you guys join my Discord. Discord. We have some of the best players in the world in my Discord, and they can give you all the advice you need. We also have some base links in the Discord. We have, we have a lot of useful things in the Discord, so it's, it's going to be in the description. I highly suggest you guys join, and with, and with that, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.